Welcome back to our channel. This is your host, Ramaganjit. And today we are going to talk about navigation of the creative process using AI tools. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. We are living in 21st century where avoiding the use of AI has become very negligible and with each passing day AI is growing stronger and adapting to our needs as faster as we can say AI. So what is our role moving forward as a collective society? Like how are we going to use these certain integral things which are going to be the key factor of where we are going to be moving in the near future. Think of an example like how our parents were very much afraid of using the phones and still our grandparents are not very fond of using a smartphone because they think that it's a waste of time and a waste of energy. Similarly, there are a lot of people in this world currently in this era, in this 21st century, who think that using AI is a waste of time and it cannot help your creative process and it demonizes your you know creative process but I stand to disagree with a lot of them because moving forward it is our job to take on and adapt to all the new advancements which are being presented to us so that we don't lose sight of where we are heading as a society me belonging to a creative field i can say that how i use ai in helping me out in my creative thought process or like how to bring that certain idea which is sitting in my mind actually to life so let's just start from the beginning tools ai has enabled us and helped us in our brainstorming process in the past all of us used to sit together and brainstorm on a certain idea, give their ideas, think on it and just try to make the dots connect. But that was a quite time taking process and most of the time we were all burned out that we cannot produce or generate any new ideas. With the introduction of ChatGPT, Toolbird and many other AI softwares, these have trimmed down our time of thinking of an idea. If I say that I want to make a video right now, for example, this video, I will ask ChatGPT that this is the title that I want to make a video on, and it will give me certain pointers on what I should talk about, how I should talk about, even the tone of that sentence or that word. I don't have to like go through the entire paperwork and do um, all that manual labor. Now I can just ask ChatGPT or Google Bard or my, one of my favorite extensions to use is Harpa AI which has all the integrated um, chatbots in it and that's what I use. So when I ask it, it gives me a script, it brings my idea to life, gives it in paper form, all my pre-production is done and if I don't like something, I can just always ask it to redo it. With all of that collective brainstorming process of five to six people that has been combined and shortened to one single AI software and what this enables us to do is utilize those five to six people in some other area in some other niche maybe um, if I am researching on one topic brainstorming on one topic using the help of AI. So seven other people can do the same thing but with seven different topics. We can spread our workforce and this way we can accomplish seven times more the result that we used to previously. So this is how AI is constantly navigating our creative field. It's not just about creative field. It can be anything. It can be from any niche, any job description, whatever you think, the sky's the limit. So, once we have that idea part nailed down, the next thing that we need to focus on is getting the assets. 
with all these corporate laws in place in our current era for youtube facebook linkedin instagram or whatever the online site is a platform there are multiple corporate laws that we need to follow so how do we go around it that's where ai comes in i personally use adobe express and it helps me generate a lot of you know free content like free images art styles whatever you name it you just have to type in simple prompts and it will give you a certain artwork as per your preference and aside from ai uh, there are multiple um free stock footage design images websites where you can go to like storyblocks and varto mix media and whatever pixels pixabay you can go to all of these and get whatever stock footage or picture or music or a sound library that you want and it will help you out in your content creation process but talking about ai i think for now as per my experience adobe express is one of the greatest software for generating ai images and what you can do is it's all about combining and collecting and how efficient you can be with the use of the ai softwares so what i personally like to do is i get an image from adobe express uh, as per my until i am satisfied as per my convenience but then i download it and put it inside adobe photoshop and ask its generative fill to expand it and voila it gives me a totally different picture and i can add many subjects objects whatever i want change the mood change the weather whatever i think that i need for that picture inside it until i'm satisfied i can use generative fill as per convenience so it completely removes the part of going and finding out a certain picture for your certain piece of project though it's a little time consuming but it can give you that creative head start in your video in your content that's how ai is helping you in navigating your production process so moving on if we talk about post production the editing point of view aside from getting the assets or making them how you want it ai is also there when you are doing editing be it video editing or be it design editing be it web editing be it anything what i mean by the next step is how you portray that footage or your content on social media platforms first let's talk about how you can improve it like in adobe i have mentioned in my previous video as well in adobe premiere there are multiple um ai features that you can utilize if you have not watched that video i will leave the link in the show cards and you can go ahead and watch that video but to help boost your seo of that content your thumbnail seo your title anything that you want i'm going to leave all the links of the ai softwares which i mentioned in the video and which i think that you are going to need you know in the comments that what you think is the future of ai and how you are going to use all of these softwares in your creative process and if you got any value from it please drop a like subscribe to the video and share it with your friends though it was a relatively slow video and i want to apologize because i have been a lot busy quite recently and that's why it took me a long time to shoot this video and put it out so thank you for your patience and i would love if you would keep supporting me and till next time see you